This part of Texas is in mourning. There likely has never been anything that has hit this area so hard. Anywhere, it would be a terrible blow. But in such a small town, for so many young people to die, it is an unbelievable tragedy. All day long, anxious parents and friends and relatives have been rushing to local hospitals, not really knowing if their son, daughter, niece, or cousin was dead or alive. Some were overjoyed by the news they were given, but others were devastated. Inside that bus, as it slid down into the water, it was a scene of panic, confusion, children screaming and crying, desperately trying to get out. Most of those who died were the younger ones. The older students saved a lot of the younger ones, but for many, there was no hope. The water was going up in 15 seconds. The water came up, opened the window, took out my sister, took out a couple of friends. Some friends were slamming on the, on the window that they couldn't get out. I told them to open the window, but they couldn't because of the pressure of the water, and they drowned. What was it like inside the bus? <sighs> Scary. I, was, I, I thought I was going to die. At Mission High School, there is an air of disbelief. The students and many of the teachers are in tears. Many here lost their closest friends. The surrounding school districts are sending help, including extra counselors, to help the young people through what has to be the greatest crisis of their lives. One man in Mission said, In the Rio Grande Valley, we have been through a lot, but this is too great a burden to bear.